If we say polynomial, according to Miriam Webster, it is a mathematical expression of one or more algebraic terms, each of which consists of a constant multiplied by one or more variables raised to a non-negative integral power. To other source, a polynomial of degree n in x is an algebraic expression that contains a specific number of terms, each of which is of the form ax raised to n, where a is a real number and n is a whole number. So, sa let sa a, sa variable a, pwedeng fraction, pwedeng decimal, pwedeng integers. For the whole number, hindi pwede ang lahat ng integers. Dapat positive lang, positive numbers, including 0. So, para mas maintindihan or malaman ang ibig sabihin ng polynomial or ma-encounter ang polynomial expressions, we will be having examples later. Let's start with um, types of polynomials in terms of number of terms. So, we have monomial if the number of term in the given expression is 1, so that is a monomial. If there are two terms in the given expression, which is polynomial, that is called a binomial. If there are three terms, that is a trinomial. And if there are four or more terms, we can call them as multinomial. Pero, uh, if we say multinomial, that is two or more terms. So it means, we can say that a binomial is also a multinomial, and a trinomial is also a multinomial. So, we have an example. If we have one term or a monomial, ito yung mga examples niya. So, we have 3x, 5, 4y, 3z. So, basta hindi kayo gumamit ng plus or minus na operation. So, simpleng, parang simpleng number lang siya. 1, 2, 3, we have 5, 4y, 3x. And then, a combination of letter and number. Pwede. Pwedeng number lang or pwedeng letter lang. So, that is a polynomial with one term or called monomial. For two terms, so 3x plus 5, 4y minus 7, 6 plus 3m, n plus 4m. So kung mapapansin nyo, nagkaroon tayo dito ng dalawang terms. Paano ba natin na-identify yung number of terms? Sila yung expression na pinaghihiwalay ng addition and subtraction sign. So dito meron tayong 3x, n, positive 5. Dito meron naman tayong 4y and negative 7. Dito we have 6 and positive 3m. Dito we have n and positive 4m. So doon natin nalalaman yung number of terms. Then examples of trinomials. So 3 terms naman siya. So we have 3x square plus 5x plus 4. 7y minus 3x plus z. 7c plus 4d minus 7. So, yung mga terms, we have 3x square, 5x, and 4. Dito naman, 7y, negative 3x, and z. Sa third example, we have 7c, 4d, and negative 7. So, each expression, they have 3 terms. So that is the type of polynomials according to the number of terms. Binomial, a monomial, binomial, trinomial, and multinomial for two or more number of terms. Let's have an example. Identify if the given expression is an, ex an example of polynomial or not. 3x square, for example number 1 we have 3x square plus x minus 1. So, dito, we have how many terms? Meron tayong 1, 2, and 3. Ano yung first term? 3x square. Second term or middle term, since 3 terms to, x. And then the third term is negative 1. Yung term na walang kasamang variable, halimbawa itong minus 1, so, tinatawag din siyang constant term. Kasi sa 
expressions na to, sa expression na to, siya lang yung term na walang variable. So, pure constant siya. Ito yung tinatawag na um, first term, nasa pinakaulang term siya, pero this is a combination of a number and letter. So, yung constant term, lagi siyang nasa pinakadulo, pinaka nasa right hand side. So, bukod sa number of terms na na-discuss natin kanina, meron din tayong tinatawag na degree of term and degree of polynomial. Paano natin malalaman yung degree of term and degree of polynomial? If you say degree of a term, magre-refer lang tayo sa each term. So dito, ang degree ng first term is 2. Kasi ang exponent niya ay 2. Sa second term, ang degree ng x ay 1. And then for the third term, ang degree ng constant, so kapag constant term, ang degree of term niya is 0. So first term natin, degree of term, 2. Sa so second term, degree of term is 1. For the constant term, the degree of term is 0. So sa degree of term, kung ilan yung number of terms ng expression, ganun din yung magiging sagot. Pero sa degree of polynomial, we are talking about the whole expression. So, the degree of, pol of polynomial in this expression, so ito kasi di ba polynomial siya. We already identify this as polynomial kasi lahat ng constant or lahat ng coefficient of the variable ay real numbers. So, ayun lang naman yung 2 conditions natin. Una, real number dapat ang coefficient. Pangalawa, ang exponent ay whole number. So, ang exponent natin ay 2. Whole number siya. 1 and 0. So, it means this is an example of polynomial. So, sa degree of polynomial, since this is considered a polynomial, we can identify that the degree of polynomial is 2. So, ang hahanapin lang natin yung pinakamataas na exponent. Sa degree of term, bawat term, kukunin natin yung exponent. So, ayun yung degree niya. And then, for degree of polynomial, kung sino yung pinakamataas ang exponent, or kung ano yung pinakamataas na exponent, ayun yung degree ng polynomial. Next example, it means number 1 is a polynomial. Number 2, So, we have negative 10 plus x minus 3x cubed minus x raised to 5. So, how many terms do we have? So, we have 4 terms. Negative 10, positive x, negative 3x cubed, negative x raised to 5. So, ayun yung number of terms natin. 4. Degree of term. So, we have 4 terms. Isa-isahin natin. 0. 1, 3, and 5. Degree of polynomials, ano yung pinakamataas na exponent? 5. So, the degree of this polynomial is 5. So, nakalimutan pala natin i-identify muna kung polynomial ba siya or not. Pero polynomial siya. Kasi lahat naman ng coefficient, even the constant, so they are real numbers. And as exponent, lahat naman sila ay whole numbers. So, this is considered as polynomial.
So, for example number 3, So, this is not an example of polynomial. Bakit? The coefficients natin, they are real numbers. So, nasatisfy natin yung condition na yun. Pero yung exponent natin, yung 3, okay. Pero yung negative 1, hindi. Kasi nga, ang n natin or yung exponent natin should be whole number. So, hindi kasama ang negative. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So, hindi kasama yung part na negative 1, negative 2. So, negative siya. So, dun nga sa Merayam Dictionary, non-negative dapat. So, meron tayong negative, kaya hindi siya polynomial. Number 4. So, 2x raised to 4 plus x squared minus 3x plus 5x. So, number of terms, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have 4 terms. Ano-ano yung mga yun? 2x raised to 4, positive x squared, negative 3x, and positive 5x raised to 1 half. Pero, identify muna pala natin. Is it polynomial or not? Not polynomial. So, hindi na pala natin kailangang i-identify yung number of terms. So, not polynomial siya kasi meron tayong yung pang fourth term natin is may exponent na one half. So, hindi natin siya consider as polynomial kasi, again, whole number hindi naman kasama yung fraction. So, aside from negative, hindi rin kasama ang mga fraction na exponent. So, that means number four example is not polynomial. Number 5, 51. So, kitang-kita nyo, that is polynomial. Sa monomial natin, sa example ko sa monomial, so, meron kayong example doon na 7 ata ang ginamit ko. So, still considered siya as polynomial. Wala nga lang siyang katabing variable, pero still, uh, we can consider that as polynomial. So, one term lang siya, that means that is monomial. And then, degree of term, 0. Degree of polynomial, that is 0. Kasi 0 lang naman yung ano yan. Example number 6, square root of 3, x raised to 7 plus x raised to 4 minus 3x squared plus 4. So, how many terms do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. First term, square root of 3, x raised to 7. Second term, x raised to 4. Then, negative 3x squared. And then, positive 4. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. So, that is multinomial. Degree of term, so sa first term, 7, second term, 4, third is 2, last term is 0. Degree of polynomial, that is 7. Can we consider this as polynomial? Yes. Kasi, uh, square root of 3 siya, pero real number, uh, real number pa rin siya. Sa exponent, bawal siya, pero sa coefficient or dito sa katabi ng x pwede siyang maging uh, square root of 3 or merong square root yung coefficient kasi real number lang naman ang usapan sa coefficient sa exponent lang bawal ang fraction, radical or negative exponent so we have polynomials number 6 so that is an introduction to polynomials Wait for the video for addition and subtraction of
polynomials.